Good morning! Today, there's a lot of snow outside, so I'm going to be doing something to our bedroom, and if you have seen my other videos, you know that I have been deciding and contemplating what to do over our bed over here. It's been it's been a process, but I think I have decided that I'm going to go along with that cool trend that's been happening lately where people paint like little shapes on walls or behind mirrors or behind their bed or furniture. I really am in love with that trend. And if you guys know me, my favorite color is rust. I think that color is just so it speaks to me. So that's what I'm going to do over my bed and then I think I'm going to put one single bookshelf and put all these <laughs> all these really pretty colored books along with that shape. So I guess I'm going to get started. So I think I'm going to have to <laughs> Start off with just moving all the furniture back this way, measuring what's the center of this wall here. You guys can see we have a few things hanging up right now, but it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic, so we need something in here. So I'm going to pull all this stuff out, and I'm probably going to have to clean under this bed. Ooh, and I'm disgusted. I'm already disgusted thinking about what's under this bed. done now it's actually time to do the measuring which is what scares me the most because so far everything that we've done in this house that involves measuring I find a way to mess it up so let's just pray that this time I don't mess it up because this time if you mess up the measuring it's gonna be kind of obvious because it's a colored shape in the middle of your wall so inches so I put a little mark right in the middle of 135 which is about 67.5 so now I have a mark now I'm gonna measure how tall our bed frame is and then kind of start to brainstorm how tall I want this this little shape to go above our bed do I want it to be right above our bed frame or do I want it to go a little bit taller I'm leaning towards it being a little bit taller just because I want, when we put the bookshelf up, I want the books to kind of be behind the color too. above where the very center of our bed frame is and then the hard part all right so I'm going to use this string and I'm going to kind of just with the string measure out half of our bed frame and then this is going to be my guide to do the perfect half circle shape I'm not nervous
So I drew, I drew two. I don't know if you can even see them. But I'm so torn because I think I drew the first one a little too tall. I'm going to put my bed back so I can see the height of the half circles and what they look like on the bed. Because I want to make sure it's tall enough that I can get a shelf. I think I'm going to have to go with the second one. I don't know. This is, see, this is a problem for me because I'm way too indecisive. So you can kind of see a little bit better here. Here's the taller one. Here's the shorter one. There's really not that big of a difference, but I can see it. I think the taller one's going to look so weird. So I'm going to go with the shorter one. Don't you think, little baby girl? Don't you think so? Mwah. I just taped up the first blue line, so that's going to go straight down the side of the bed. The rounded part, I'm just going to hope that I have a steady enough hand to go around that area there, but I'm just, I'm too lazy to kind of round this whole tape across the hole. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'm just, I trust myself. I have a steady enough hand that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do it. So as you can see, it was a process picking out the certain color rust that we wanted. These were a little too dark. So it came down to these two and we went with cinnamon stone just because, ooh, there's a marble here on it, just because it was really warm and just very vibrant to us, so we ended up going with Cinnamon Stone. Look how dreamy that color is. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, 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 I know this sounds weird but I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of my own brown just because I wanted this shape to look kind of textured and have like some details in it. I didn't just want it to look like an orange rust colored shape. I wanted it to look very textured and different from the flat white that we have. So far, so far not bad. I think the brown helped. I didn't realize how orange it would be at first. Yeah, it turned out very orange. But I'm gonna take a break and give some attention to this little girl right here. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So now that I have hypothermia, I'm going to go ahead and get the second coat going, make sure it's the exact color that I So I've gone through and I'm definitely adding more brown than I thought I would. But so far, I think it looks really cool. So I'm going to keep adding some more brown because I didn't realize once I've been on the wall how like here's the original and it's so much more orange than I thought and I don't know I just wasn't looking very rust so I think the brown definitely tones it down a little bit and makes it look a little bit more earthy so gonna keep adding some more brown now it's time for the most satisfying thing in the world Like, I love it. All right, guys, so what do we think? I think I think I should trust myself. I think I should trust my instincts because this turned out 
pretty cool. The next step is to add a shelf here and add all these really cool colored books. And this taller one would have literally, and I painted over the line, would have literally gone close to up here. And I think this just fits the room a little bit better. Here's a view of it from, oh my girl. Here's a view of it from the living room. So definitely glad I didn't go any taller. And it does look a little bare up here. So I think the shelf and the books and that extra color is definitely gonna help make it feel not so tall, if that makes sense. <laughs> ended up getting from Goodwill all of them were like 99 cents so for all of these books and we got a ton I mean I think it ended up being $35 but I got some other clothes too you know me <laughs> so basically I ended up getting these books a lot of Jane Austen that's just for my own collection but I got a lot of these books based on the covers on the inside like really I was looking for a lot of earthy tones and like this one John Grisham book oh my gosh I cannot do this in film at the same time but I love the brown and then this kind of like a sage green let's see if I can find another one. Oh yes rust <laughs> so we ended up getting a lot just because of the inside color of their hardbacks. And this one's just plain white. So hopefully they'll look really cool when they are all up. And Will is working on staining the shelf. And I'm trying to get the bracket colors to look just like the wall colors. And wish me luck because so far that's pretty hard process. Also, what the, did you guys ever remember the movie Marley and Me? I found the book. What? Let's see if the inside cover is even cute. I just got, oh yeah, it is. So it'll go on the shelf too. But look at the cute little, oh, those are paw prints. Never mind. But how could you not get this book? Also, I really liked the minimal look of this book. So this might go on like a coffee table or something like that. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to clean that. But I thought this was really cool too. <laughs> projects we've done in the house so far overall this took us just a few days um, really one day to paint it and then one day to just put the shelf together and then to thrift all these books and it was pretty much done so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will keep you guys updated on other house renovations that we do in the future see you guys <laughs>